This is the 20 quart portable refrigerator freezer from F40 C4 TMP. Although you'll find this exact same refrigerator wearing other labels. It also has similar construction to a lot of different portable refrigerators from many different brands and even many different manufacturers. It has an internal fuse, which means you need to know how to take the cover off and find the fuse if the fuse ever blows. It also has an issue where some of these might be coming off the assembly line with loose power connectors, even though this is actually a very high quality refrigerator. If you ever end up in a situation where it just stops functioning, you wanna take the access panel off, check the connectors and check the fuse. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to do. They don't show this in the instructions, but they really should because you're gonna eventually have to access the compressor to clean out the coils. There's another version of this refrigerator, and yes, it is upside down, that actually has a fuse accessible right here. But with this model, the fuse is on the inside. The panel's really easy to access. There are two screws you need to remove here and three screws up here. And then you're going to gently pry, and don't use a screwdriver, just use your fingers, the panel this way and then you're going to lift because it's it's tucked in here with retention tabs there we go and it's actually connected to the compressor via power cables on the back of this so you can see the power cable here and you'll see here is where the fuse is located and a water resistant cover that's the fuse. That's your typical 15 amp blue fuse. And yes, they're color coded. And you want to make sure that's snapped on nice and tightly. That's where the fuse is. And that's one of the reasons why it might stop working and you don't know why. The other is one of these might actually pop off their connectors on the back side of the power socket, which actually happened to me. That's why I pulled this access cover off in the first place because from the factory, one of these connectors wasn't crimped onto the post inside here. So if you plug this in and it won't power up, take the access panel off, check the fuse, and check these connections and make sure they're nice and tight. Easy thing to do. It's something you should be familiar with if you're gonna own this refrigerator anyway. To make these tighter, I'm just sliding the insulating cover off, taking some pliers, and gently squeezing from the sides and then squeezing each curled wing. This one is actually in good shape, so I'm not gonna mess with that one. So these just pop on. And you wanna feel that resistance and there nice and snug. That's the way you want them. You'll see where the tabs go and these three notches here. And so you want to start by tucking that part in and then make sure the tabs on the sides go into their slots, their homes. It should be obvious. And there we go. These top screws are pulling on plastic, so you just want them to be gently snug. These are metal to metal in here. There are bushings, and so these will be a little bit tighter. This is near where the handle is, so you want to make sure that they stay in place. And since we had it upside down, the oil and the compressor shifted around. So before we power this back up, we're going to give it about an equal amount of time upright for the oil to get back in place. I already talked to the manufacturer about what I found with my unit's loose connector, and I'm sure they're gonna see this video so they can see it firsthand. So I have confidence that they're gonna take care of anything that they need to at the assembly plant so that this isn't an ongoing issue. But it's really good to know how to take that cover off anyway, just so you can see how different things work. 
clean the coils out, and of course be able to change the fuse. If you somehow made it this far into this video without actually owning one and you want to learn more about it, I do have a full feature video that I will pin as a card somewhere right about here and have it linked in the video description below. It's been a great fit for my Tesla Model 3, but it's actually a perfect size for a lot of different vehicles. I also have links on where to buy one of these as well as this matching insulated cover. If you don't already have one of these, but you have one of these, you really should look into getting the insulated cover. It's not that much money and it's actually a whole lot of value and helping the refrigerator run more efficiently as well as protecting it from impact and making it a whole lot easier to carry. I hope you found this video helpful and I hope to see you next time on the Tech of Tech.